At the time of her 1984 execution, Thelma Barfield had been the first woman to be executed in the United States since 1962 for the arsenic murder of her fiancé, Stuart Taylor. Later, it was also discovered that she had also killed her own mother, Lily Boulard. Although she was convicted of a single murder, she admitted to the murders of three people for whom she served as a caretaker, John Henry Lee and Montgomery and Dolly Edwards. She also admitted to murdering her second husband, Jennings Barfield. All were murdered by arsenic poisoning. To finance a prescription drug habit related to chronic back pain, she had been stealing and forging checks and murdering her victims to prevent this crime from being discovered, hence the motive of the crime. Before she was executed in 1984, she confessed to her son Ronnie that she had killed his father and her first husband, Thomas Burke, by starting a fire in the bedroom where he was in bed in an alcoholic stupor. He died of smoke inhalation at the age of 38. The fire also killed the family pets. Barfield was convicted and sentenced to death in 1978, but appeals and stays of execution delayed justice for six years. Her defense was multiple personality disorder. She was finally executed on November 2nd, 1984 by lethal injection at Central Prison in Raleigh, North Carolina. She was the first woman to be executed by the means of lethal injection. Her son buried his parents near each other, but her name is not on the marker. She murdered at least seven people.